One of the most frequently asked questions is how did the courthouse come to be in Goshen instead of Elkhart? If you're sitting in the back row whispering to someone who's sitting next to you, as I sit here on the bench, I can hear what you're saying. Sometimes that's embarrassing to people in the back row when they get asked to quiet down. This clock has been ticking uh, every second back and forth uh, for, you know, other than a couple of times where it's been shut down for a week or two, uh, pretty much continuously uh, for over 140 years. Uh, used to have a lot of spectators at some of the trials. We used to have a full courtroom for some of the jury trials, especially uh, the higher profile murder cases. So, uh, sometimes standing room only. This painting is certainly one of the best kept secrets in uh, Elkhart County. It's an oil painting on canvas and it dates from 1860, which makes it over 150 years old. For the last uh, 100 odd years, it has hung in the private office of the judge of the circuit court. I had always heard that there was a tunnel that connected the jail with the courthouse to transport prisoners back and forth. One fun fact about the tower up here is that uh, at the turn of the century, the young uh, soldiers from the Elkhart County area on their way to war in both the Spanish-American War and then later in World War I, a tradition was to come up here to the tower and write your name in the tower, either on the bricks or on the faces themselves as a memorial uh, to you or a memory of you as you went away to war. A key element in the uh, use of the banner were the so-called wide awakes. That's wide awakes. That refers to a group of young men in their very late teens or early 20s who were organized to stir up excitement at political rallies. 